Hey guys, this is William with another video for Play, Agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. Playing an ABCD game on Board Game Arena. Uh, we're drafting Miners and Ox together. Uh, so let's take a look. Um, so I see Sleeping Corner, and there's a couple crop cards here. Seasonal Worker Conjurer, so definitely keeping that in mind. I think Furnisher is really strong, though, so I might just take Furnisher. Um, yeah, so what would I want with Furnisher? I could take Pond Hut, I could take Swing Plow, I could take... Probably not Chicken Coop with Furnisher. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty high on Furnisher. What else is good here? Maybe get one of these two crop cards back. So let's open Furnisher plus Sleeping Corner, I guess. Passing Lone Pit is a bit scary. I guess I could get past Cottager. So I could take Lone Pit just because if I get past Cottager, Cottager plus Furnisher is awesome. It's like kind of make your own cacot a little bit. Um... Wheeling, something like foreign aid would be fine. The only thing I don't like about Lone Pit is like I'd love to have a handful of wood miners. Um but yeah, I give I'll give myself the chance of getting past uh that here. Okay, well I didn't get there, but I did get Lantern House, House Steward. So I think I could grab House Steward Lantern House or Bonehead Lantern House. Uh, my thinking is Furnisher is going to give me lots of minor improvements, so it'll be pretty easy to get all my miners out. Um, do I want something like Harpooner instead? Um, not necessarily. Loom is also very good. I could just take Loom. I think I'd go Bonehead Lantern House here. Yeah. Yeah, because I can open, um, well, no, I can't open Bonehead into Lantern House, but getting a bunch of wood from my cards, uh, there's still a chance I get Cottager. There's still a chance I get past Cottager here, so. Passing a pretty late loom, which is a bit sad. Um, Charcoal Burner, I like Bonehead over Charcoal Burner, I think, even. Um, yeah. Charcoal burner is just, you, you might get, you might get almost as much wood, like you might get four or five activations and then you get a bunch of food with it, but they come a lot slower than the bonehead stuff does. And there's like pretty, I think the synergy with bonehead furniture, furniture is pretty strong. Like I play in it, I play a miner, I save a wood on it and get another wood. Like, yeah, could really have a game where I could spam, um. Spam rooms. Hmm. Action space rounds once day. So no, not no day labor help, unfortunately. Um, Yeah, I guess I could draft Hutch. The read cost on Hutch is kind of annoying. I could take something like Seed Trader. Yeah, I don't I don't really want like supply boat shops distiller. That's not very good. Um I don't think I want small scale farmer. Um I don't really want bean counter. I guess I could play Reed Roof Renovator. I think I'd play that over Seed Trader. Read Roof Renovator plus Hutch, maybe. Um, and try to be in a position to build a couple, like, build at least one room after people start renovating. There was also Scholar in the draft, so... Maybe this is... Maybe this works. This this pick, uh, yeah, this is where I'm starting to feel bad. 
Um, it's still technically possible I get Cottager fourth, but uh, I was really hoping to see Cottager uh, when I drafted Lone Pit. It might have just been the correct pick anyways to take Lone Pit just to avoid, since I also was passing Seed Seller. Like, that might have just been the correct play anyways, but... Yeah. Uh, milking place. Field phase of each harvest, you can no longer hold animals in your house. So, this costs a grain... Oh, so it's house goat, but it costs a grain now. Okay. Um... Do I want Feed Fence? Do I want Frame Builder? I think... I think I'm drafting Wall Builder. Is there a reason to take Baker? I don't think I get anywhere near enough green to take Baker. I think I'm looking at Frame Builder, Wall Builder. So the frame builder is kind of neat if I want to go to clay and build clay rooms. But if I if I don't have cottager, then like activating my loam pit is not really that good. I think I might actually just play wall builder here. And then I'll take, um, sure, I'll take feed fences. I think this hand has a lot of wood in it, so... Yeah. Paying a clay for a point and a food is not bad. And if I build, if I do it enough times, then I get two extra foods, so. Searching is a funny troll. Um, yeah, I, I was a little confused when they joined the game. I was like, is that a bug? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm like pretty okay with taking chicken coop here. But this is just swing plow, right? Especially if I'm going to build a couple rooms and then I'm going to build some stables. I think this is just swing plow here. And then for my awk, um, conjurer is totally fine here. Yeah. Conjurer is fine here. It does, it is like another kind of early game awk, but I think I can't justify taking scholar with this hand. And uh, I don't think I'm on stable. Like if I took chicken coop, maybe I take stable architect, but. I think there's, yeah, I'm never taking chicken coop with swing plow here. And then, yeah, Scholar just doesn't really work with the rest of this hand. Building Tycoon is cute, but you need a lot of food to make that work. And I'd much rather choose when I'm getting on that space. Um, so, I just drafted Conjurer. Do I also play Puppeteer? I don't think so. Is this a Stork's Nest hand? This is kind of looking like a Stork's Nest hand. I mean, I'm not taking Corn Scoop, I don't think. Clay Embankment might be fine. I think I'm taking Stork's Nest here. This is really looking like a Stork's Nest hand. Furniture, Bonehead, Wall Builder, Conjurer, they can all come before my first family growth. And then I pick up a Collector here. Um, yeah, Collector I think is actually very playable here um taking collector twice it like because there's a world where i have a five room stone house i have the house steward points i have four fence stables i have four pastures i have six fields um i can actually like get three point get eight combined animal points and get seven combined crop points so like that that farm is probably high scoring enough to use collector i'll take supply boat here and this pick am i ever playing bean counter i don't think so let's take thresher
Yeah, Thresher kind of goes with a baking strategy, I guess. It's a little bit like a um, Surf, except one of the best things about Surf is turning grain into vegetable. If you make a lot of grain, or the fact that you get a grain to bake every time you go on that space. I guess it's kind of like Surf. Oh, I... Uh, you know what? I need a reminder that tells me um, you get to go, you get to look and see what the seating order is in round one. I need, I need to do that because I keep forgetting. Okay. Well, this looks to me like I'm opening three wood into lantern house into two reed into awk round two. Auk Bonehead first, probably. Or I could play Conjurer. I guess I could play Conjurer. The problem with playing Conjurer is that then I'm asking for Traveling Players to get taken in three. Or for the Puppeteer to hit the table. Whoa, Red opens the game with Reed Hatted Toad. Uh, okay. So I'm going to get Reedstone Food back. I'm opening three wood Reedstone Food. Um, okay. Sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> Three wood reedstone food. Okay. I, I, I can build a room before playing any ox. Like, I don't have to. C.W. Gordon has Begging Student. Good card. Begging Student, good card. Oh, I should full screen this. Oh, man. Is Red just doing nonsense? Oh, man. Small, cheap Ock here. Oh, man. Imagine start playing round one when you can get cheap Ock. Oh, man. <laughs> like, the getting the one extra read out of the Toad is not worth it. Okay, Assistant Tiller. So, they might have Cottager, and I just got taken away. But yeah, if they have Cottager, at least they don't have Lone Pit, so. I mean, two Reedstone Foods in the first two rounds, plus a three-wood action, so. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't really want a two wood action, but I guess I take it. I think I'm not doing the bottom feeding moves. Well, I might have to consider dumping Lantern House, but if I get growth in five, I'll have so many actions that I can still play them all after. Missed round one, uh, red first action played Reed Hatted Toad. Uh, okay, I will just continue to take reeds don't food actions as long as they are offered to me. Oh man, someone said Pet Lover was OP. Which I thought was <laughs> Someone said that. 
they were like, man, Pet Lover is so OP. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that made me laugh. Um, okay, uh, build is not contested unless green has brushwood roof. So I think taking start player is pretty appealing. Uh, I'll go ahead and start player Lantern House here. And then I'll play Cheap Ock Bonehead. I immediately get the wood back. And then I have the option of playing Furnish Furnisher. Or do I play... Maybe I just play Furnisher first. And trust that I'll get Bonehead online later. Because Furnisher gives me two wood when I play it. I'm also looking at... Green could definitely have Brushwood Collector. And play Brushwood Collector in the Harvest. So I would like to be able to react to that. Uh, this player needs to take food. This player needs to take reed. Let's open furniture here. And then I can play bonehead second action or I can build. Or take more reed or wood or six clay. Lots of options here. I feel, I really feel no pressure to build. Yes, okay, red is take, or um, purple taking six clay. So yeah, I feel absolutely no pressure to build. So this lets me play conjurer or bonehead here. Uh, conjurer is getting nailed for sure. So I'll just play bonehead. So green could start player and get a food and then build with brushwood, but I'm not too worried about that. And we've got red, yeah, this, yeah, I think good is even too low, like, I don't know what red's doing, red is doing some real nonsense. And I don't even have to first move build, I get to take traveling players next round. So long as um, green does not play Brushwood Collector in the Harvest. And even if they do, if build doesn't flip, I might just take the five food anyways. Because that's a pretty great action and it sorts my feeding for stage two. Green plays Cattle Whisper. Like, okay. <laughs> I get to take five food here. Um, yep, that's a thing. Uh, yeah. How how do I lose this game? I I don't know how I lose this game. L I guess late family growth maybe. If there's like a I don't know what could be coming. Cattle whisper first stock with begging student is making me think what is green doing? So it could be ranch, I guess. Could be ranch for green. But the first field not be uh, field not going here makes me think it's not ranch. But yeah, I don't know. Twelve wood, three fields plowed already. Unless he's got something like maybe his grain cart and he's gonna get all his grain with one action and is playing straw thatched roof. It could be something like that. Yeah, it could be something like that. I don't know. So I have to build now. Uh, I could play Hutch here, but I think I played my Feed Fence. Because I think I want to build all the stables. Not having any clay makes me a little sad. Like having to pay two wood for this stable is kind of annoying, but I think it's not really a big deal. Uh, 
I could have also built the well. But I think starting to get food from feed fences is solid. I think, yeah, I think I go for it with feed fences. I go for all four. Just because I've put so much wood into the game, and I know that I want to go back to the build room space a couple times. Hey, Relicren. So, late family growth. Okay, late, late family growth is bad for me. Absolutely. Late family growth is bad for me. Um, do I re-up start player? Do I take clay and then I can stable block if needed? Like, do I have to worry about start player axe? I shouldn't have to because both these two players can build. Um, so I can just open three wood here or four clay, uh, which is better. Let's take the four clay because then I can build a stable for one clay and I can get better wood. Ac I can get better wood actions than three wood, I'm guessing. Yeah, does green have a way to grow here that I'm just missing on? Like, four fields here already? Yeah, I don't know. Could just be ranch. Oh, you know what? Green might have that fields adjacent to field to the rooms, um, fences adjacent to fields card. That would be a reason to lay out your first couple fields like this. If you're going to do a two-room house, that would be a reason to do that. Yeah. I think also give my opponents not taking start player it gives my opponents a chance to make an error, right? Because green uh, red's got the uh, small scale farmer, um, so you know red might have a slight inclination towards not building. Yeah, and I mean, if red does go for family growth, I could trust that purple builds a fire, uh, cooking hearth. Um, but yeah, no reason to rely on my opponents this game. Just go ahead and play. Uh, play Hutch, I guess. Yeah, it would have been nice to have saved a wood on Hutch, because now, well, I guess I still have two more to play. Yeah, two more things to play with Furnisher, and I could still build the well, build the well with Furnisher. Yeah, because like I still won't be able to play Lone Pit next round. I'm gonna want to play Supply Boat. So yeah, maybe try to build the well with Furnisher so that I still get a discount. Probably not building the joinery if I'm building four stables and two wood rooms. Probably not going to have enough of wood to, wood to do both those things. Yeah, this has got to be ranch, right? Yeah, so miss out on a read from the read roof renovator.
Uh, red start players here does not need to start player. Plays loom, that makes a ton of sense. So red's first action, reed hatted toad, is weird, but otherwise red's played very sensibly. Well, I guess this start player wasn't really needed. But, like, you're always taking the sheep with your other move, so... I don't know. I guess you're slightly vulnerable to getting screwed here. Yeah, and uh, it's not the fence adjacent to field. It's just straight up branch. So, blocking major minor second action would be good. Because that would force uh, CW Gordon to take food, not from the ranch. And that slows them down a lot when they're on two family members. So I could go ahead and build a cooking hearth here. Or the pottery. I want to keep a clay behind. I want to keep a clay behind for making um, stables in the future. So maybe I just build the pottery. Yeah, the sheep were always getting taken there. Maybe the fireplace given pet lover, there's a slightly increased chance that there are better cards on the table. Fourteen food for blue. That's a lot of food. Assuming that green is going to start player ranch, uh, purple should be building. Um, it would be nice to get to the position to build really quickly so that I, I can take advantage of that. Um, definitely want to get my reed roof renovator out. Since I just want to get, I want to get most of my hand out anyways. Ooh, grocer here as well. Begging student and grocer. Hmm. I wonder what the first pick was for red. Uh, eat a clay. So I have eight food going into the next harvest. If I eat, assuming I, I eat another clay, if I build a stable, I'll have nine food. Should be more than enough. Red gonna re-up start player again. Don't love that. Green taking the six wood. So it'd be nice to block the uh, major minor space. But there's not really a reasonable move to do that with. Um, could pick up three stone, could pick up three reed. I guess I take the three reed. How important is the reed actually? Who's taking the reed? Red? No. Purple, no. The stone might actually get taken, so I'll take the stone. So green's going to play ranch. Red's going to grow. Playing clay embankment just to spend a food for no reason. Okay.
getting Reed Roof Renovator down, because Red definitely could... Well, I guess Red can only buy... Or Green can only buy one... One clay. Yeah, I definitely want to try to get the well down. Build the build a room and get the well at the same time. Save a wood while doing so. Taking four clay is a priority next round. Purple continues to not build. I guess purple can build... I guess purple can build next round, so... Then they don't have to start player, so that seems reasonable. Uh, I could get Conjurer down and take Traveling Players and leave the read for next round. If I play Conjurer here and take Traveling Players, then I'm also giving myself a very good chance of getting... Um, Um, then I can play Reed Roof Renovator. Like, I can afford to play Reed Roof Renovator if the Reed gets taken. Plus, I want to keep... Plus, it gets me two wood. Yeah, so now I'm... Now I'm pretty close to building this round. The problem is I also likely want a clay action, and I assume purple's building this round. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to build... So red should be taking, I guess red doesn't have to take the sheep. Red could take, red could kind of do anything. Yeah. Maybe fish here for red. Maybe three wood, maybe four clay. So I'm guessing green got sleeping corner, right? Because uh, reed hut got taken, or sorry, pond hut got taken by red. So then CW Gordon has um, this card. If I could block CW Gordon's so this round, that would be okay. Because if I block their so this round, then they have to, then they'd have to so take green and then so next stage. And when you're tight on actions, like that's kind of punishing. They could have one more green in their hand, I suppose. Ooh, Auk getting taken here. That's probably the action I wanted to see least. I really don't want green to get two um, animal actions here. Green getting two animal actions here would be very scary. Domestician expert. Okay, so probably taking the two sheep second move, assuming that green takes the two boar. And then family grow third move. And then purple might take reed and then build two clay rooms. That'd be pretty reasonable. Could also take a reed off of fishing or day labor with their water worker. Yeah, there it is, taking the read here. Fishing. Okay, I'll take the four read on the board. So, assuming purple builds, I'm taking... I could start player loam pit. If I start player loam pit, then I don't have a miner to play on family growth. So I probably... I was thinking start player to get six wood, but probably I don't want to play a miner. Because then I run, yeah, because I don't really, I can play Stork's Nest as a point with Lantern House, but not really needed. Stone clearing here. Oh, that's really fun. That's really fun. That's really fun for green. So green can now build the well if I don't build it with this move. 
Uh, so yeah, I definitely build the well. No reason to let green have the well. And if they don't have the well, then kind of like, what are you going to do, you know? Um, the only thing I don't like about this is that I'm not eating a clay in this harvest because I'm going to build a stable. But uh, who cares? I also it, This also means I get to grow next round, for sure. So yeah. Um, purple just totally avoiding family growth. Very good for me. Two players totally ignoring family growth is good for me. Oh. What? Game trade here with Bloom seems terrible. You're no longer breeding a sheep anymore. Hmm. I guess the other thing to remember is I might get that passing miner because purple has this, the empty fields. So I might get past that passing miner for uh, with um, giving me stones. So then maybe playing start player is not quite as bad if I keep that in mind. But yeah. Let's do this room. Build a major. Build a stable. Winter Caretaker. When you play this card, you get a green. At the end of each harvest, you can buy a vegetable for two food. Okay. Yep. Getting the well here and making sure that CW Gordon doesn't have the well is really good for me. I now pick up five food in the next round. So I'm going to have eight, and then I can eat a clay to get to ten. So I can definitely afford to play an occupation in the next stage. This lantern house is looking like it's not going to be seven points. It's probably going to be like three points. But that's okay. I can leave... I probably play Collector, I probably play Reed Roof Renovator, but then I can leave the rest, uh, the other two Ox behind, leave Thresher and Well Builder behind in all likelihood. I guess Collector is not looking too good since Conjurer is in play, and I have the ability to take hold a pair of animals already. I really like Collector when you don't have a way to hold animals, and then... You make it very late in the game, and then, yeah, I mean, I've talked about this. You take Collector twice and get a lot of points. So I'm guessing CW Gordon is going to Reno, but I have to play Family Growth here. So maybe Reed Roof Renovator is dead. I have two Reed for my next two Renos. The extra Reed would be nice for Stork's Nest, but maybe that just doesn't matter. Certainly going to grow here, so... Gordon's starting to buy grocery stuff. 
So this is looking like a so bake action. Okay, so that makes that means Renault's back on the table. I have the swing plot. Oh man, field fences. I would have loved that card. I would have really loved that card. So yeah, I think swing plow with furniture is still doable. I think there's enough wood in the game to pull this off. I take four wood. I play reed roof renovator four clay this round. Or day labor three clay. Yeah, probably day labor three clay over four clay. Yeah. And the animals are nice and contested. Two people can grab breeding pairs. This player wants to take sheep. Um, I, my swing plow is coming down pretty late, but green can't legally plow. Purple can only legally plow one more time, exactly. So, let's do this. One sheep. Oh, that's kind of sad. And it looks like I get a six wood action next round. No, red's going to take three wood. Okay, that's fine. Do I take six clay over day labor? I might take six clay over day labor. I think I build this round to get Swing Plow in play, but I don't have to do it with this move. Um, could definitely just take six clay here. If I take six clay, it's really hard for... Uh, it's really hard for Red to Reno to clay, or to Reno to stone, which should mean that I get to stone really easily. They can build the BMW, and that's fine. So green's going to start player. Maybe Reno sleeping corner. Uh, no, green needs to Reno make something to feed. Green needs to Reno and make food. I want to play wall builder as a three food, one point action. If I play it here, I no longer have enough food to feed in the harvest. So no, I can't play it here. Or at least I don't think I should. What about building a clay room? I mean, I have the day labor. I could build a clay room. Oh, you know what? I can't afford to wall build because I get a food from building a stable. I can't afford to wall build here. All right, I'll do that then. Keep getting uh, cards out of my hand for Lantern House. So it's not stoned on Vin. It's pretty much got to be the three clay fireplace. No? Okay. So maybe playing um, a schnapps distiller here um, to feed. But yeah, there's the sleeping corner, which we knew was coming. I'll build. Oh, um, no. I need more wood. I can't build here. I need more wood to play... Um, Play that so traveling players and then build so that just means i don't plow this round 
That's fine. Not ideal, but that's fine. I was hoping to swing plow last action. But I should be able to plow twice, right? Because pro like purple is not taking plow over assistant tilling. And yeah, I just have to take plow in front of red. Yeah. And I don't care about plow so, but that's fine. Yeah, red 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 can take plow so because I mean green can't even doesn't even really like plow so that much either. So one room. So I want to eat a clay in the harvest. Yeah, Schnapps Distiller. Yeah, the other advantage of playing Wall Builder, I can now play Stork's Nest on Family Growth just to get, um, just for a point. Because it gets it out of my hand for Lantern House. So I was thinking this is looking like a bad Lantern House, but it's not looking too bad, actually. Oh, man, Plowso here. All right, so I should be, I, I should win this game now. Um, green not getting Family Growth here is, is, that's really bad for Green. Green needed to see Family Growth flip here, I think. To have a chance at beating me. So I just need to make sure that I reno this round. Or that somebody renos this round. So I just make sure that I reno this round. Uh, I'll take family growth here. What else would I take? Four wood. Um... No, you know what? I'll take the four wood. Yeah. Four wood, because then if purple takes family growth second action, I get three wood back. And if uh, purple takes three wood, then I get family growth. Yeah, because I do still need some wood. I, I want to get between 10 and 12 wood to do this fencing here. Stone reno plus stone oven, I assume, to feed. Could be the joinery, I guess, but you really, really want to build stables with this setup, right? So that's another thing to keep an eye on. If I can build stables next round, then that denies a bunch of points to green as well. Build a single stable for one clay and get three food for doing so. Purple's going to family growth now, so I get the three wood back, and then I play day labor, and then reno. And I'll play stone clearing just to get it out of my hand. And collector is still an option. Collector, when I'm getting, when I have this much green, seems worse, but collector is still an option. Forgetting all my breeding pairs. Okay, green stabling this round. Yeah. Considering one of your moves for sure is family growth next round. Makes total sense. And actually, if purple does not first move... Ooh, purple takes day labor here. Hmm. Okay, so that means to reno... 
To reno this round, I need to take... I need to take two clay to reno this round, which I don't want to do. Because I need to get I get need to get two remaining the two remaining plow actions is the other thing to keep in mind. So maybe take three stone here. If I take three stone, I should be the only person that wants to reno the rest of the game, unless red takes exactly four clay next round. And then I could fish and get a vegetable that way. Um, take a single sheep or take a single boar. Or take two wood. I think take one of, it seems like I'm not playing collector anymore. So just take the one of sheep, I think. Yeah. So we need roof ball. I think someone would need roof baluster to get to stone here. Unless red first move takes four clay. If red first move four clays and I don't, I can't immediately reno, that's kind of a problem for me because that means red will be able to reno this round and then red does have three stone. I'm pretty sure red's going to use that stone for the BMW, but there is a world where red plays. Um, goes for Stonehouse Reno. So that would be a problem, but it's actually looking like I might be able to get both Reno actions in the final round. Which would be good. Sheep well. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now it seems like there... It, now that seems like there's no way that Red is going to get to Stone. So I should be able to get both Reno actions in the final round. Um, purple cannot even use Reno Fence. So, yeah. Red's going to family growth, so this means I get a guaranteed plow action. I should get a plow action in both rounds, so long as I just take it first move. There's no reason for red to take plow over plow, so... So yeah, I just have to first move plow in each of the final two rounds. So my round is day labor, plow, plow, day labor, reno, family growth. And I can play reno stone clearing and that gets me out, that, that gets me enough stone to go to my stone reno without having to take stone again, which would be amazing. would actually give me enough stone to play a guild as well, which is kind of cool. Oh, oh, two stone first move here, maybe going for the BMW himself. So I feel like I was kind of hurt by red doing nonsense in the early game with the start player, but I've gained a huge amount. Purple not pressuring my family growth. Me getting my second family growth in front of purple was huge. That Because late family growth was pretty bad for me and pretty good for green. But purple not letting me get my second growth in was massive for me. Um, that made up a huge amount for getting on growth late. Uh, so definitely day laboring here so that I can respond to red taking clay by renovating.
Yeah. So like the BMW is gone. So like this this reed had it towed into small scale farmer was just not was just not very good. So does uh, Green have a constable? So what what could help Green beat me here? Constable. Uh, um, Reno is uncontested, but I'm doing Reno and family growth, so. I just do both moves here. Technically, if I didn't care about Reno Fence, I could play uh, Family Growth with Stork's Nest. Um, I could. Yeah, the thing is, I do want Reno Fence in the final round, so I think it's even. I get, yeah, the thing is, like, Reno Fence is uncontested for me, so how do I get Stone Clearing out of my, like, I want to play Stone Clearing this round, so I think I just Family Growth. It's not ideal, but, yeah, and then I'm looking to take Fishing, um, looking to take Fishing in the final round to get my one of Vegetable. Stable Architect. It could be a Constable. But if their first two picks are Begging Student Grocer, then they do not have Hidden Constable. Yeah. And we know those are their first, first two picks because I didn't see either of those. Actually, Charcoal Burner never came out either. Somebody drafted Charcoal Burner and just left it, left it in their hand. Which, uh, to be fair, one, two, three... Only three things would have procced it so far. So it would have been a really terrible charcoal burner hand. I guess sheep came late and red has taken the sheep pretty aggressively. So it looks like I like, so fishing is two food and a vegetable. So, okay, going to the final harvest, let's assume, let's say this clay is going, so I have five food, so I need another five food. So fishing and a vegetable is two food, and then taking six clay and building a stable is three food. So then my four action, my five actions are fish, clay, stable, wood, reno fence, leaving me uh, no, because I need to plow three as well. Uh, it might be that I take fish and don't buy the vegetable then. I can eat a raw grain. Stone oven's gone, right? Yeah, stone oven's gone. I can't, yeah, I could eat one raw grain to get to six. Then I really want to take four wood. Four wood is three points. Six wood would have been even better. So... There's like no reason for red to take plow over plow so except for blocking me. So taking four wood should be extremely safe. Right? Okay. 
Yeah, so I think I think given late family growth, if um, purple and red, especially if purple, if purple goes for family growth more aggressively, then green is beating me. But without, um, yeah, the fact that I was able to grow in seven and and nine was uh, huge. Or not in seven and nine, in seven and ten, because red grew in eight and nine. Yeah, pretty pretty sure I'm beating green, right? The begging student minus three cancels out their stone oven. Um, so like they're gonna be they're gonna be green's gonna be around like low fifties, right? Pretty sure I've got that beat. Uh, traveling players also gets me war food and a wood, which is a point. So I think fishing is, I think fishing is better still. Yeah, I think my house is big enough, and having the well in the lantern house is enough to overcome their far superior on the board points. If they have constable here, if they have a three point constable here at the end, that's then they they might have me beat. It might be it might be that close. Um, three moves left. I have a three point boar action. I definitely need to take food somehow. So maybe maybe three food three boar for three points. Traveling players for feeding mandatory feeding move plus one point. Cause yeah, fishing fishing gets me all the food, but traveling players also gets me all the food plus a point, right? Because I'm at five, six with the raw grain, uh seven with the other grain from traveling players. So taking the three boar here. I lose a point. Fishing versus traveling players is a one point difference. And then if... Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, green doesn't have a move with which to go after me, so I'm not too worried. Um... Not totally sure what red's doing. Just as long as red isn't bottom feeding. Red bottom feeding would be disaster for me. Purple is taking fishing, but that's fine. So I end the game missing a cattle and a vegetable. That's part of the... And the, the not getting these two cards in play. That's a casualty of round seven family growth. Think I got there though. I think I got there. I can count. Let's count. Um, green score. So green's at four plus four family members, 16, um, 20, 23, 26, uh, six point ranch. 32, um, 30, 36, uh, four vegetable, or sorry, four grain, 38, um, three point joinery, 41, stone oven, 44, 
45, 46 minus, um, plus, I think I didn't count animal points. Minus 3, 43, plus 2, 45, 48, 51. So I think it's 51 or 54 with Constable. Oh, they can't have Constable because a begging student. Yes, they have a beggar. Yes, they cannot have Constable. Yeah, well, and I already knew they don't have Constable because of the existence of these two cards. Whereas, what am I scoring? I'm at uh, 10, 25... 29, uh, 33, 34, um, 35, 34, 35, 34, 37, um, 42, 43, 44, 45, uh, 47, 51. We gonna tie? We gonna have a tie at the end here? Tie at fifty one? That would be pretty insane. We might be tied at 51. And I lose the tiebreaker. Three clay to two stone. <laughs> oh, man. Unless they... Yeah, you know what? They might have to eat a point here. Yes. If, uh, if, if he has to eat a point here, we're good. But he doesn't because he buys a vegetable, right? With Winter Caretaker. So he doesn't have to eat a point. He's net plus three food every harvest. And he can eat a wood. So he doesn't have to eat a point here. Oh, man. End of each harvest. So they haven't had the chance to buy yet. Yeah, I did enjoy getting the Reedstone. Like, Red playing weird did mean that I had much better actions in Stage 1. So, I mean, there were things that went well for me and things that went poorly. Late Family Growth, bad for me. Late Family Growth, bad for Green. Um, red First Action, playing uh, Reed Hatted Toad, bad for me. Getting Reedstone Food back in, or getting 3 Wood Reedstone Food Round 1, good. Um, yeah, it was a weird... Kind of a weird game. Looks like a tie. And then I lose on the tiebreaker. Unless I counted the scores wrong, which is very possible. I may have counted the scores wrong.
I win by one. I did count the scores wrong. Holy crap. I did win by one. GG. What did I count wrong? I missed a point. 10. 10, 15, 25, 29, 33, 36, 35, 36, 35, 36, 38, uh, 43, 44, 45, 46, 48, 52. Yeah, so I just counted wrong. Win by one. Well, considering Green had um, Grocer and Begging Student, and it was late Family Growth, that feels good. But yes, if Green hits Family Growth in round 12, he wins. So, it was close. It was a close game. Um, I love Furnisher. I love Furnisher. Furnisher is so good. Um... Yeah, not getting any points out of the pottery, not getting any bonus points out of the pottery, and then just missing out on, um, missing out on the fourth stable, and missing out on, um, yeah. I maybe could have leaned into Stork's Nest more, like I could have grown with Stork's Nest, uh, but I didn't get my, like I didn't get so Lantern House meant that I didn't want to play an occupation until Lantern House came out, which was fine because I just got room parts early anyways, and I was still able to play Furnisher before building my first room, which was incredible. Um, so yeah, that worked out pretty well. Yeah, there might have been a different mind. Yeah, there there was probably something different I could have done in the draft. Maybe Maybe playing Collector was the way to go. So collector plus um, collector plus taking a collector action gets rid of my negative. So it's it's plus one just off of getting the vegetable and the cattle. Um, so okay, so let's assume I don't take the three boar. If I don't take the three boar and play collector instead, um, what other move would have to go? There'd be one other move that would have to come off the sheep, I guess. So if I don't take one sheep and play collector, and I don't take the three boar, and I play collector, I'm down four, but I'm up the I'm down five, but then I get rid of three negatives, so I'm up one. Plus I could have gotten a grain to counteract the point that I would lose. Then I could have taken one wood that way. I'd uh Or I could have taken a clay, no. Yeah, Collector would have been very similar. Collector would have been a very similar final score. I think it's two moves for one more point. Because you have to take five off the board and then add, but then add. You have to take you have to take one point off the board and add four. That's not right. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that math right. Take off take off two boar and add a vegetable and a cattle. So that would have been up three points. I would have been up three points if I play collector, but then it, you add the you add the beggar, and I'm even. So I would have been exactly even if I had played collector, assuming I paid only one food for it and it didn't cost me to eat, uh, require me to eat something else. Interesting. Okay. Oh, uh, good game, CW Gordon. Well played. You were you went you were unlucky that Plauso flipped in twelve. You would have won outright if had that happened. So definitely I got lucky, and then purple letting me grow fourth also was lucky for me. That round seven family growth was really bad for me, but the fact that purple lets me let me grow fourth made up for that quite a bit. 
But yeah, obviously I'm missing a bunch of points on this farm. Nice, big country blocked by me and seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew I had to. I, I, I mean, the game was very likely... Uh, was like, I knew the game was very likely between the two of us, so... Um... Late growth was too good for you otherwise. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, late growth Late growth was good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I knew I had to block. I knew that blocking your big country there would be really good. Because having to take a full food action there was really bad for you. Having to take a full food action with that move was really bad. When you're on two family members, you're so... You're really tight, so... And you know what? I that's where Red didn't Red did not need to first action start player at all. So there were definitely like and then I also got three wood reedstone food round one. Like I definitely benefited from the other two players doing some weird stuff. Because yeah, Red did not have to start player first move in seven. I don't remember what they played, but yeah, the fact that both the improvement spaces were gone was uh was bad for you. So there there were I think I pro maybe on balance I got slightly luckier this game. I, I I would guess, but yeah. You did get begging student and grocer together, so I'm not sure what Red would have first picked over those. Um okay, I'm gonna take a uh, short break and uh we'll play another game. See you guys in a bit. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video.